Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Rainy day, that is. Yeah, it's raining outside. Hope your five senses work. Hope your health and strength is good. What? And to you Steam Deck fans, what's up with it? Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion. It's good. Steam Deck Mob, what's up? And the Steam Deck Squad. All right, what do we got for you? Let's see, what do, what do I have for you here? Hmm. All right, talking about the Game Awards here. Talked about this last night, but PCN Game got an article on it, so I figured I'd cover it. Then um, have a, uh, another another update for the Steam Deck. Uh, talking about, uh, you know, Valve fixes the on-screen keyboard not showing in new Steam Deck beta client. So, okay, Game Awards first here. Says here, uh, Valve announced a Steam Deck giveaway to be held at the Game Awards 2022, in which one of the handhelds gaming PC will be up for grabs every minute of the event. So Valve announced that that a 512 gig Steam Deck will be won by luck uh, a participant, which minute during I mean every minute during the year the game award yes one one every 60 seconds so if, so if you're down to try and snag a handheld gaming PC just before the holidays stay tuned and it says here the information comes straight from Valve itself stating that the competition will commence at, at the start of the official award show then it says, which is going to ahead on December the 8th at 5, five, five o'clock Pacific Standard Time, uh, uh, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, December 9th at 12, at 12, and lasts for two and a half hours. So it says there are a couple of conditions that, that do needs to be met. You can't take part and they are as follows. One, you must be in the US, U, U, uh, U, US, Canada, UK, and Europe. You need to have made a purchase on Steam between November 14th, 2021 and November 14th, 2022. Your account must be in good standings. You cannot have a limited account. Hmm. And then it says here, when paired with the best Steam Deck dock or even just used as Portable device Valve handheld gaming PC has proven its worth since release in February. Many units have been sold already with the deck shipping to parts of Asia soon. That number is going to be is going to rise. Mm -hmm. Then it says if you're interested in taking part and you meet the requirement, the Steam Deck page says that registration is now open. All entrants must be registered and watching the Game Awards which will be streaming on Steam TV. The full giveaway rules can be found here. Hmm. And it says, basically, as long as you meet the meet the above criteria and are watching the event as it happens, you should be in with a chance of winning. Remember, that's one Steam Deck per minute. Imagine that as an, as an early holiday gift. And what else we got here? Another article is this. Um, Steam Valve fixes the on-screen uh, keyboard not showing in the Steam Deck beta client. And I will leave all three article links in the description box. Um, it says here, Valve, uh, another update is not is now available for Steam Deck with the client beta fixing up some annoying issues people keep finding and reporting. Here's what's changed in the November 28th beta. Fix size of content and update new dialogue when running with Windows text scaling 100%. Fix lock screen pin reset process to not show pin entry screen upon Steam Deck uh, restart. Fix crash when touching gift, gift or new inventory items notifications. Fix show password toggle to show slash hide the password. Fix the on-screen keyboard no longer showing when requested by the game or Proton 
Then it says Steam Input. Fix rumble for a Switch Pro controller. Attach over USB. <laughs> and it says there, uh, is there a bug that particularly annoys you for right now? And it says, <laughs> let me know in the comment section. Plus there's a video for Warhammer uh, 40,000 40, on Dark Tide. Then, uh, got, 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 a, got, another, got another update here. It says here, uh, Heroic Game Launcher for GOG and Epic Games version 2.5.0, Beta 3 out now. And then it says, probably one of my favorite open source projects. Heroic Game Launcher helps helps you manage your GOG and Epic Game accounts on Linux, Steam, and Steam Deck. A big new release is getting closer with version 2.5 beta 3 out now integrating how long to beat uh, de uh, data. And then it says, sounds like a really helpful uh, addition and something I often want to know before starting a game is how long is it so will it be thoroughly useful for me and then it says what's new in version 2.5.0 uh, beta 3 it says here integrate how long to beat data on gaming page download manager now will add uploads to the list as well and add user improvements as well the interface when using a joystick should be more seamless and follow the same control as the Steam Deck UI. Heroic will detect if the game folder installed on an external drive slash SD is available or not and change it is status to not install just like Steam Deck behaves after removing SD cards for instance. Then it says improve how the hero Heroic gets the safe path for cloud sync saved. Linux adds a checkbox to use the default line setting when installing a game. Fix a bug where Heroic could not install VKD3D correctly. Fix a bug where autosave sync was not working when launching games from Steam. Update legendary to latest version. Add some performance improvement, especially on game page, and install dialog. Mm -hmm. Then it says, uh, since it's not fully ready yet, there are some notes issues. Not available games still being ordered, along with install games. Importing games from GamePad does not change the status to install. Not available games still shows the update. Still, still shows the update icon. How long to beat does how long to beat date does not return anything if the game title has some character like like for trademark trademarks and copyright. And those are the updates for the Steam Steam Deck plus the game awards. So you got you got an update for Heroic and then the beta um then the you got you got you got, uh, you got updates for Hero heroic and the beta beta update client. So you Steam Deck, you fans of the Steam Deck that's using the Steam Deck right now, you should see some improvements. You know, um, as the day as the days goes on. You know, and um, it's a good thing that Valve you know open a line of communication. You know, to stay. You know, because communication is key in all this to for the Steam Deck su success. So was very very loving of them to open that line of communication so you can get feedbacks from all the users and see what needs to be improved so they can work on it and make your gaming experience uh, even better and then there's the game awards <laughs> um, you know 150 steam decks you know? they, they're gonna be giving them away every minute the game awards last for about two and a half hours so every every minute some a name is going to be called but you got to have your, your account got to be in good standards and then you got to make a purchase between no, November 14 2021 and then November 14th 2022 so if you meet those requirements uh, you give it a, give it give it a go if not 
get you get your you, you purchase you, you purchase your Steam Deck the regular way by you know going through Steam and place placing your order, your reservation, and then and then go on and, and then wait for your uh, Steam Deck to be delivered. But other than that, Steam Deck is good right now. <laughs> you know, based on all the updates it's getting, you know, more updates to come. So I will keep you guys posted. Anyway. Leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Dark side. Go. Peace.